Well, let's talk about Trown's rule. Trown's rule is pretty simple. It basically states that a wide range of liquids that exhibit only London dispersion forces have a standard entropy of vaporization, so delta S, of about 87 joules per Kelvin mole. So, using Trown's rule, let's try and calculate delta H of vaporization for benzene. The normal boiling point of benzene should be about 80.1 degrees Celsius. So let's start with delta S equals delta H vaporization over T, T meaning temperature. So let's plug in our values. Using Trouton's rule, we know that delta S is about 87 uh, joules per Kelvin mole. We're trying to find delta H, and for temperature, we're going to add 273.15 Kelvin to our degrees Celsius value. That's going to be temperature equals 353.25 Kelvin. Now, cross-multiplying this, we will get delta H equals to 30.7 kilojoules per mole, approximately. Now, that's how we find delta H of vaporization. If we want to extend this further, what we would do is ask, what temperature does benzene have a vapor pressure of 305 milligrams of mercury? So, we're going to have the clausius clapeyron equation. And, of course, this is a variation of that, so there are going to be a lot of different ways to solve this. But here's one way. So we have this equation. We have two P's for pressure. We have delta H, which we calculated here. We have R, which is the natural gas constant. And we have temperatures. So we're going to use the first problem as a reference point for this one. So, plugging in our values, let's take our first reference point, P, since it is um, the standard enthalpy, to be 760 milligrams of mercury, since that's approximately, well, that is one atmospheric pressure. Delta H is going to be what we calculated earlier, and that's going to be in joules per mole in this case because of the unit cancellation. R is going to be 8.3145 joules per Kelvin mole in this case. Now the temperatures, we're going to use what we used earlier, which is going to be temperature equals 353.25 Kelvin. And this is going to be used as a reference point. So if we simplify all that, we're going to get the natural log simplifying to, oh right, for the pressure two, we're going to use 305 milligrams of mercury, and that's what we're going to have there, because what we're trying to find in the end is the temperature in which benzene has its vapor pressure. So that's going to be T2 that we're trying to find. So we have the natural log. We simplified that top part, and we simplified that. And basically, what we did was just divide, and then we added. And then we cross multiplied, and then we simplified. Now that's the answer in Kelvin, and if we want to take it a step further, we minus the 273.15 for the Kelvin, and we get our temperature in degrees Celsius, 51.7 degrees. Alright, and that's basically Trown's rule in a nutshell.